All right, so now we're going to use the alcohol lift ink pad, and then we're also gonna do a technique with the reinker. So for the pad, what I'm going to do, now this is some alcohol ink on some Yupo. It's just the denim and the eggplant, um, but I used the tool that I used right at the very first section, so it had a little bit of green on it, so you'll see some bits of green. So I've got a stamp platform here. That's just gonna help give me some control a little bit more control. You don't necessarily have to have a stamp platform, but if by chance you don't um, get a perfect lift, this will ensure that you can go back and try it again. So I've taken my lift pad and I've inked my stamp thoroughly. I am going to close it and make sure that I press it really, really well, ensuring that I get every part of the stamp, especially the center of those flowers, those tend to be the hardest to get. So you don't see a whole lot now. I'm going to take this out. It has a, a few seconds to sit, so I don't necessarily need it to be super, super quick. What I am going to do is I'm going to put a new piece of paper in here. This is just plain cardstock. All of the alcohol ink that this ink has lifted up, I'm now pressing and stamping onto a piece of cardstock. So this technique gets you two different cards in one. So that's the alcohol ink that I have lifted. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And now I'll show you what happens with this. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel. I'm just gonna press it and blot it. Then I'm gonna move it, press it and blot it again. We're gonna do this a couple times. We wanna try to take some of the excess of that lift ink away. We do not want to start rubbing it and smearing it around until we know that we have most of the excess away. When I am doing this, I'm getting a new piece of my paper towel. Once I don't get a whole lot of the color on my paper towel, then I can go and I can lift or just rub all the excess away. So different stamps will do different things. This particular one, I got a whole lot of white area. So that's exactly what I was going for. And this just shows you what the Yupo does. So the ink doesn't sink right into it. So I'm able to lift it and get a silhouette like that. So I can make a card just like this. I can add some stickles or something to add a little bit of sparkle or some charms or whatnot, or I could leave it just as is. But then I also have a second card here that I can create with this image. Pretty cool. So the other thing I can do is just use the Lift Ink Reinker. So this is the reinker for the stamp pad, and I can use it with a foam blending tool. So this is the tool that I used right at the very beginning. Instead of using felt, I'm using the foam, and typically this is used with Distress Ink, but for this particular technique, I can use this foam. And I just save my foams and reuse them over and over again. So you don't necessarily need to have one foam and then toss it away. So I'm going to use a stencil, put it on top of my piece. Now this is the piece that I did in the very first section. So this is also Yupo. And I'm going to just stamp the um, tool with the foam with the Lift Ink refill on it. So I did get a whole lot of the refill, or I, I put a lot of it on to here so I can tell that it's really quite wet. Once I feel that everything that I want covered is covered, I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to take a new piece of paper towel. I'm going to blot it a couple times first. Even that's kind of cool, isn't it? Once I think I've got most of the excess blotted out, I'm going to take a clean part of the paper towel and I can rub it. If you rub it too soon, you're gonna end up smearing the excess ink, so you don't wanna do that. But there's something I wanted to show you with this. So this particular one, I used some of the metallic. So you'll see on some of the places where I lifted ink, there's still some metallic. It does not lift the metallic. It only lifts the alcohol ink. So the metallic will still be there. So you may want the metallic there, you may not want the metallic there, but just something to keep in mind that if you don't want to have dots of metallic, then make sure that you're doing an alcohol ink background without any metallic. 
but a cool way to use your stencils because you get a negative of what the stencil is. Something a little, little cool to think about. So again, I keep reusing these, so I have a little Ziploc bag that I put them in. They do get stained, that's totally fine. It's not going to ruin anything because we're using it to put ink on and just to lift it up. So it's not gonna ruin anything and I just keep those aside. So I'll let these completely dry and then I'll show you what I did with them. So this is how I completed the cards here. I just put a little navy behind this one, a little bit of a green ribbon, added some stickles to the center of the flowers. Would have loved to put like a little butterfly charm in there, but apparently I own every single beachy, oceany charm there is on earth, but no butterflies. And then same with this one, just a simple matte complementing ribbon and I put st um, stickles in the center of the flowers. And again, I would have loved to put a butterfly charm in here and will after I've ordered some. This guy here, I actually haven't done anything with because I think it's quite a busy background for a card, but I think at some point I'll make this guy out of him and I think that would be super, super cute at some point.